foster care or the group care placement. Mm -hmm. Those people get paid a monthly fee to have the child in the home. They also get an allowance for the kids to have clothing and other essentials. Then they give, the, the kids are supposed to actually get an allowance, but in many times the kids aren't actually receiving the allowance. I'm out here with a few other people and we're interviewing. Have you ever had any run-in or any um, interaction with Child Protective Services? Uh, yes, I have. Was it right here in the state of Arizona? Um, it was in the state of Arizona, the state of Mississippi, and in the state of California, all the states that I lived in. Oh, I see. Yeah. Now, starting at what age? Um, around the age of six. At the age of six? Yeah. Oh, okay. Now, Child Protective Services sounds like an organization that would protect children. Did you feel protected during your time with CPS in any of these states? I mean, no, no, no kids should say that they felt protected because at the end of the day, it's all a scam because they neglect us and they treat people like outcasts when they're in the family. Like, if you're going to take somebody within your family, you're supposed to treat them like, as a family member. You're not supposed to treat them as an outcast to make them feel bad. And then that makes them grow up to, like, hate their parents because they feel like they're outcast by another family. Yeah, yeah, so exactly. So it, make, it makes their life go down a spiral. It makes their life miserable. Mm -hmm. And I know a lot of people who are in foster care who, like, they say that foster care is supposed to give you a check every month. Mm -hmm. I didn't get no money every month. I remember, like, going to pay less and getting like one pair of shoes and like two pairs of pants from Walmart and then like the people that I stay with they take their kids out shopping go get them brand new phones at the mall and everything me my brothers and my sisters were all there we feel like outcasts we don't get like clothes from the mall nothing like that no oh. cell phones oh, and then on top of that like all the houses that I lived in were Mexican none of them spoke English none of them your caregivers spoke Spanish straight Spanish. Oh, my all God. of them. Her, her nieces, her nephews, even her son, you know what I'm saying? They were all adults. And like, why would you, if you guys say that you guys are caring for somebody, why would you put them in an environment where nobody speaks English? Wow, that's what CPS did with you? Yeah, and like, there was five of us. It was me, my brother, and my sister. We all stayed, at first we stayed in like, the first, I stayed in the street, across the street, and my brother, my little brother and sister stayed across the street. Mm -hmm. And then they broke, they split us up, and then we are all in different cities. I mean, like, if they were to, like, you know what I'm saying, keep, like, a family that came in as three, why would you guys split a family up if you guys were caregivers? Yeah. That wouldn't make any sense. That A lot of people miss their little brother, little sister, I mean, whatever, uh -huh. whoever it is, you know? Right, right, right. And, like, I witnessed... I witnessed with my own eyes um, the uh, foster kids that my little brother and little sister, they were abusing them. I witnessed it with my own eyes. What they kind of abuse? Physical abuse. Hitting, spanking, spankings, beating? Spankings, hang, closing them in the room, turning the lights off. My little sister was like only what, like six? And she was scared of the dark? Yeah, she was scared of the dark. They would.